Factory! That's right, we are in the Art Bridges studio today. We are actually in the studio of the famous pop artist, Andy Warhol! I am so excited because pop art is one of my favorite styles of art. And during the month of August, I love to celebrate Andy's birthday. It's actually on August 6th. So he is my artist of the month. He is actually an American artist, film director, producer, and just full on icon in the art world. He is one of the founders of the awesome pop art movement. So there's several other artists that I love to study as well when we talk about pop art, but today we're talking all about Andy. And I have an awesome art lesson for you to try in the art room called Pop Art Pet Portraits. Did you know that Andy had pets? Yeah. Guess what kind, dog or cat? What is it, Andy? He was a cat guy. And that kind of reminds me of a joke, actually. What is the best pet to have? Do you know, Andy? Can you guess? It's a cat. Why? Because they're perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Warhol's nephew actually wrote an awesome book that I like to share during the month of August, Uncle Andy's Cats. And it is such an adorable book and it's one that you have to read if you haven't read it before. In the meantime, we're going to learn all about pop art, everything we need to know to make our own amazing pop art pet portraits. So, what is pop art? So, pop art is a style of art that originated in the United States. Woohoo! It is known from the using of bright colors, popular symbols, and everyday objects like food, <laughs> and also comic books, which were very, very popular. So, the word pop art actually means popular. So pop art can be anything that you think is popular. And believe me, I think pets are very popular. So if you've never made pop art before, this is the perfect project to try. Pop art is known for its use of, like I said, besides bright colors, the principles of art that they used a lot were repetition, like when you do printmaking, and they also use patterns. So we're gonna be learning how to use repetition in our artwork and very bright colors. So here is an example of the project that we're gonna be making today, and I'm gonna take you step by step on how to make it. So grab your pencils, grab your paper, grab your pop tart, pop art. <laughs> And let's get started. So to get started, I just used a 9 by 12 piece of white drawing paper from my sketchbook. I folded it in half vertically and horizontally to make four equal parts. Then I got my awesome how to draw cute chibi cats book and I drew simple shapes with pencil to draw just the cat's face. Then I took a fine point Sharpie and I traced all over my pencil lines so that they would show up darker so that it would be easier to trace. Now, pop art is about repetition. So I wanted to repeat the exact same drawing three more times so that I have the exact same shape of my cat's face, but I can use different colors for each drawing. The easiest way to do this is just by folding your paper in half and then holding your paper up to a window or a light source so that you can see the other side to trace. It's okay if it actually traces on the other side of the paper because once we're done tracing these, we're going to cut them out and then we're gonna color each of your drawings using different bright colors. Wow. 
And voila, I love how mine turned out. This project was so much fun. So grab your paper and your pets and do some pop art.